Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel the IoT Encoder. In my earlier video, I had shown you how you can find a single document in the MongoDB realm or Atlas database where this query filter that is my ID equals 1234 holds. Now in this video, we will be finding out multiple documents that match a query filter so that when we have multiple data and multiple data like arrays of documents to iterate through or work through it is easy for us so please stay tuned and with the earlier like in the earlier video there was a small issue that may you may have run into that is after 30 minutes or so your app would start stop working and it would give this error that is invalid session so this happens because the access token that mongodb provides gets like expires in 30 minutes so for that you can first log out asynchronously then you can log in asynchronously so let's put this inside here so first it will log out asynchronously and then it will log in asynchronously so let's test our application if it resolves this issue and now next we will move on to the finding multiple documents so our app is running and it's attaching the debugger i guess yeah so could not connect okay we will launch the debugger again terminate and the debugger is connected click on sign in so it logged out and it logged in successfully now let's find data so see find is working so our data is currently found that means our earlier version of the app was working successfully after this change so just keep in mind this either you can use refresh token i will be showing you that in my future videos for now we are using us like anonymous login so just log out and log in again on the click of a button or uh, you can do it in on create also if you want but i made it into a button so that it's easier so for showing you multiple document fetch what i will do is i have this find data button uh, I will just attach this on click listener that was earlier just will modify this so for this video a query filter would be user id is a id user dot get id that means whatever data we add we have added will be displayed to us you can use any other query filter like suppose this is a mongodb realm and let's go to our atlas and let's go to the collections this is a test data collection right so there are so many results you can have many many fields so you can query based on any field you want so i am querying based on this user id field and it should be equal to my id so now next what we will do is realm result task mongo cursor document what this will do is this will provide us a document like this will provide us a mongo cursor now what is a cursor a cursor is you can use to iterate over many documents so basically this is my cursor and i'm iterating over this whole document which is a collection of letters or alphabets or whatever you say so this is how this realm result task will give you a cursor so find task would be mongo collection dot find query filter here provide the query filter dot iterator so this will provide us the mongo cursor now just remove all this oh, for now i will comment it so control slash is the shortcut for commenting so now what i will do is find task dot get async so this will basically asynchronously find the task and 
task arrow task arrow this is a callback if task dot is success yani ki uh, that means our task is success else log dot v task error and what is the error task dot get error dot to string okay uh, now if the task is success what we will do is mongo cursor document res results equals task dot get so this provides us a mongo cursor and this is the cursor that will iterate on all the documents so we will iterate on all the documents this cursor has so while results dot has next our document current document uh, note that this document is a bson document which is a standard of mongodb rel my atlas current doc will be results dot next okay so we are iterating over next 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 results and till it has has next it will iterate and what i will do is actually uh, see here everywhere it is data right so let's keep a string called data and if current doc dot get string data is not equal to null then data equals data plus current doc dot get string of data and this was our edit text view right so text view dot set text data so this is what we will be doing uh, transform into final one and let's just test it one see if it gives some error or not i don't think it should give any error it should work properly but let's see so mongodb is very easy if you know how to work with it so let's find the data and it crashed so attempt to invoke user dot get id on a null reference okay so that means the user object was null where are we setting the user oh we have not set the user so user will be equal to app dot current user so this will set the current user to a user object um when you write a long code you tend to miss some short things so take care of it when you're writing so let's wait for let's log in again so that we don't get any error logged out and we have been logged in successfully let's click on find data so it's finding the data and as you can see that nothing here is there that means our data ha like it found but it couldn't find anything so let's add the data here hello add data so as you can see it has added the data now let's click on find data yeah so it's stuck on finding the data let us just resolve that issue if results dot has next of not log dot v result couldn't find uh, i can do this debugging again on my own but as far as my previous comments are considered people like this debugging because like when i started with mongodb earlier it took a lot of time for me to get to know this how to debug this so again we get this 
attempt to invoke on a null reference okay we need to log in again every time sorry for that i should have kept this outside but yeah because this app is like just for testing we have don't have a single sign on screen this needs to be done let's click on sign in logged out and logged in successfully add the data hello so data is added find the data couldn't find that means we don't have any other results uh let's see why because here we aren't adding the user id to the data so let's append user id comma user dot get id so now what it will do is it will append the user id of the user to the data and then we can search the data using the user id so earlier we could search using 1 2 3 4 constant user id but let's make it dynamic so let's sign in again logged out and logged in successfully let's add the data hello so we have added the data so let's click on find data so null and find is working so basically we have two things like a null object and find is working this is because you will see here that there is a data column and a user id column okay and yeah so this went in this once so what i will show you is let's add it again testing again it is added let's click on find so find is working got added again so did we make a constant yeah so see this we made this constant data instead of this let's make it edit text dot get text dot to string okay so and So let's run it now. So now it will work. It should properly work. Oh, by the way, this will always return couldn't find because this should be actually here. Because otherwise it will always iterate till the end. Anyway, never mind. Let's log in. I think this is the final version. This should work. And we have logged out and we have logged in. So testing one. Testing one add the data so it added the data find the data see testing one now let's add testing two add the data and let's add testing three also add the data so now let's find so testing one testing two testing three and multiple search working So see everything is working properly now. Whatever you will add here, it will give all the results here. And hence we have made this. So I will share to you this code in the description. Like I will add this code to the GitHub soon and share you the link. So this was all for this video. Hope you liked it. Please do like, share and subscribe and do leave in the comments which is the next topic you want the video on.